What's going on, NFL fans? I'm Jay all day. I'm bringing you this week's Survivor episode podcast style because I'm dealing with a horrible chest cold. Let's get into it. Last week, our pick of the week, the Rams dominated over the Washington Commanders. That leads us with five picks in a row, all W's for you guys on this channel. We're absolutely crushing your Survivor Pool picks. And if you're still alive, you only have a couple weeks to get that cash. Let's break down week 16, and I'm going to give you the best picks for your survivor pools. Before we break down week 16 for everybody, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We crossed the 4,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And I'm going to do some autograph football picture giveaways in the coming weeks to celebrate the playoffs. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Sorry I couldn't get this pod out earlier in the week. This cold is absolutely kicking my ass. All right, let's break down these games. First, we have the Bengals and the Steelers. We have a tale of two different teams. The Bengals 3-0 and in the last three games. The Steelers 0-3, traveling in the wrong directions. I like the Bengals. Stay with the hot hand here. The Steelers' defense has not looked good over the past few weeks. And, man, that offense is an abomination. I think... From a betting perspective, I like the Cincinnati Bengals and the three points to cover this week for sure. I love the Bengals. If you have the Bengals, you could use them in the spot. I never like using road teams, but if you have to, I like the Bengals in this spot, especially with the playoff implications for Cincinnati. Next up, we have the Buffalo Bills traveling across the country to go play the LA Chargers. The Chargers just fired their coach. That team is an absolute abomination. I love the Bills in this spot. If you haven't used the Bills somehow, this is an easy win. 12 and a half points. They'll probably even cover that. They got absolutely blown out by the Raiders by like fucking 40 points last week. The Chargers are a disaster, man. And the Bills are playing so good, man. They look really, really, really good. And if I'm a playoff team in the AFC like the Chiefs or the Ravens, I do not want to see the Buffalo Bills. I love the Bills in this spot. They are not my pick of the week, though. The next game is going to have my pick of the week. We have the Indianapolis Colts traveling to Atlanta to play the Falcons. The Falcons lost to the horrible Carolina Panthers 9-7 to last week. O-M-G. The Colts are my pick of the week this week. Gardner Minshew is playing really, really, really good, guys. And from a betting perspective, I love the Colts here. Money line is a great bet. And to cover the two and a half points, I love the Colts in this spot. Their defense has looked really, really, really good. And the Falcons just got fined by the NFL for kind of fudging the injury report for B. John Robinson last week. He's not 100% healthy. There's an illness. He's dealing with headaches. I don't know, guys. I love the Colts in this spot, and they need to win this game to hold on to that playoff spot. I love the Colts. My pick of the week for week 16 is the Indianapolis Colts. Next up, we have the Seahawks, who beat the Eagles last week in a come-from-behind victory. Looked really, really good, man. Backup Drew Locke had that come-from-behind victory. The Titans have been eliminated from playoff contention, so I don't know who's going to play. The team looks old to begin with. I don't like the Titans in this spot. The Seahawks need to to win this game. So they're going to be bringing it. I'm not sure if Geno Smith's going to play or not. So make sure you look into the injury report. I think he's going to play because it was iffy if he was going to play last week on Monday night. They are on a short week. And Drew Locke looked pretty good versus the Eagles last week. But I think they go back to Geno Smith. Then the Lions at the Vikings. The Vikings are regressing. I think they lose out on that playoff spot this week. I think they move to 7-8. and eight. Jarek Goff threw for like five touchdowns and like 400 yards last week. He looks pretty good. The defense is still a little suspect, and they're not super, super consistent team. Like, I would stay away from the Lions in this spot. Division games, yikes, I don't like them, but I like the Lions to win this game. Then we have the Commanders and the Jets, the battle of two dumpster fire teams. It looks like the Jets are going with Simeon at quarterback with Zach Wilson being in concussion protocol. I like the Commanders in this spot. I think they win this game. Rain is coming, guys. Stay away from this game from a survivor perspective. Then we have the Packers at the Panthers. If you have not used the Packers, they need to win this game to stay alive in this playoff picture. If they lose to the Panthers, they're pretty much done. They have to win this game. The Panthers somehow beat Atlanta last week. I don't like this spot for the Panthers. I like the Packers. If you're in a bind and you don't have my pick of the week with the Colts, go with the Packers. 
It's a must-win game. The weather looks pretty good. I like the Packers in this spot. The Panthers are bush. Then we have the Joe Flacco-led Browns taking on the Texans. It looks like C.J. Stroud will not play this week, guys, so do not bet on the Texans. I like the Browns to win this spot, especially if C.J. Stroud doesn't play. The coach said it doesn't look like he's going to play this weekend, so I'm going to stick with the Browns, guys. I like them. Joe Flacco is really leading this team to a playoff berth. They look pretty good, but they're not so good on the road. But without C.J. Stroud, the Texans don't have a chance, in my opinion. I like the Browns in this spot, but I would stay away from it from a survivor pool perspective. And then we have the Jaguars at the Buccaneers. This is going to be a really, really good game. Baker Mayfield threw for almost 400 yards and four touchdowns last week. He looks really good. The team seems to be getting on the same page. I mean, they're not the best team in the world, but they're playing a lot better the last four or five weeks. And the Jaguars are hit and miss, but they are really good on the road. From a survivor pool perspective, you don't want to bet on this game, guys. Stay away from this game. This is a game to just watch and enjoy from a fan's point of view. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see if Baker Mayfield can hold on to that playoff spot. And the Jaguars need to win this game, too. It's a must-win. The weather looks pretty good. Should be a fun game to watch. Then we have another dumpster fire game, the Cardinals at the Bears. I like the Bears in this spot at home. The Cardinals have only won one game all year on the road. I look for that to continue their losing streak. I like the Bears in this spot, and they're going to move to 6-9. and nine. Then we have a my favorite game of the week, the Dallas Cowboys and the Dolphins. If you're an Eagles fan, you're looking for the Dolphins to win this game against the Cowboys. The Cowboys are a Jekyll and high team. They're terrible on the road, 3-4. and four. They're really good at home. The Dolphins are great at home, 6-1. and one. I love the Dolphins in this spot, guys. From a survivor pool perspective, I don't love it, but if you had to, the Dolphins should probably win this game. Then we have the Patriots, 3-11, and 11, go to the 7-7 seven and seven Broncos. I like the Broncos in this spot. If you need a home team who needs a win, desperate, in the cold, in the thin air, in Denver, I like the Broncos in this spot, guys. It's another good spot. I like the Broncos. I like the Packers, and I like the Colts. My pick of the week is the Colts, guys. Then we're going to move on to some Monday night games. This week, week 16, we have three Monday night games. Raiders, Chiefs, the Raiders had a big blowout win last week versus the Chargers. They are terrible on the road, though, 1-5. and five. I like the Chiefs in this spot to move to 10-5. and five. If you somehow still have the Chiefs, use them here, guys. They're going to get the W. I really like the Chiefs. I think... The Raiders are playing above water right now. They're not that good. They played a terrible team that's in complete disarray last week. So I like to fade the Raiders here. I like the Chiefs. And then the Giants at the Eagles. The Eagles are absolutely reeling. They lost three games in a row. I love the Giants and getting 13 and a half points, man. The Eagles just don't look like they're on the same page. Hopefully they took this week to get healthy. But man, that defense is trash. Man, James Bradbury is so bad. Holy shit, he looked terrible last week. But the Giants have looked better as of late, so I think this game will be a little closer than some people think. 13.5 points. You can even tease the Giants if you're in the teasers. Tease them up to like 18 or 19 points. I like the Birds to win a close game like 2017. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I don't think they cover the 13.5 points. And then to wrap it up, we have an incredible game. Ravens. 49ers, a potential Super Bowl preview game, guys. 6-1 and one on the road for the Ravens, 11-3 and three overall. The 49ers are 11-3, and three, also 5-1. and one. Something's got to give, guys, but this game is being going to play in the rain. So we don't want a bet on road games, close games. This is a game you must fade from Survivor Pool, but it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun to watch on Christmas Day, guys. Merry Christmas to everyone. These games on Christmas should be a lot of fun. We got the Eagles, 49ers, Ravens, Chiefs, a lot of great teams to watch. It should be a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoy your holiday. Have so much fun. Eat some turkey, drink some beers, smoke some bleezies. Have some fun, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the flip side.